An intense and combative race in the Democratic primary for Queens DA. Could it be a repeat of four years ago when absentee ballots decided the outcome? CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer talked to the candidates. On the surface, Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz looks like she's sitting pretty in the upcoming Democratic primary. She's been endorsed by a laundry list of unions and elected officials, including Chuck Schumer and Eric Adams, and has had press conference after press conference about getting guns off the street. I remember that election day four years ago. Katz referring to her primary battle with Tiffany Caban, which on election night saw her down by 1,200 votes. Absentee ballots had to be counted. I ended up winning by 60 votes, if you recall. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that again. This time, Cass is facing two tough opponents. Debbie Ann Daniels, a progressive who's determined to take votes away from Cass in the African American community, especially Southeast Queens, which was critical in Cass's razor thin victory four years ago. Daniels says she got 27,000 votes there when she ran unsuccessfully for judge, pointing out that Cass won the DA's job with just 34,000 votes. There's a lot of people in Jamaica who voted for me last year who are happy to vote for me again. Also gunning to take Katz out is George Grosso, a former judge who also worked his way up from beat cop to first deputy commissioner in the NYPD. He says his vast law enforcement experience makes him, not Katz, the guy to make the streets safe. This is exactly what we don't need in a district attorney whose borough has violent, felony, major index crimes up over 50 percent or more during her tenure. I think we have to stop playing politics with people's lives and the district attorney's job needs a temperament and needs complex uh, thinking, not simplistic arguments to cherry pick data to make someone's case. Murder is down 41% here in Queens County. It's down 13% in the rest of the city. Both challengers think they have cats worried. Daniels claims she was offered two judgeships to get out of the race. And Grasso claims Katz has been calling people who donated to his campaign and asking why they're supporting him. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.